a week. brief introduction about myself. I'm Langston, born and raised in Hong Kong, spent more than eight years in UST all the way from bachelor to PhD. And my subject focus is in chemical engineering. Uh, have any one of you have dinner? Uh, and okay, so most of you don't haven't had dinner yet. I hope the next picture won't kill your appetite. And for for this gentleman in particular, I hope you won't puke after you look at the slide. Now, um, I want to come to the issue of what um, research postgraduate could help you in terms of career prospect. And uh, I would like to share my experience how I uh, transform myself as an academic research. Um, personnel into a startup, founding a company, and try to make something that changed the world. So what I'm trying to address, and that's the um, terrible picture I mentioned, is that I focus in an area called drug delivery, and that concept actually encompasses all of you in everyday life. When you take pills, when you get injections for vaccine, that's different ways of you getting the drugs into your body. And I want to address a very critical issue that associate with the eye disease, because when things happen badly it, at the back of your eye, you have to get injections every month to get treated. So you see how terrible it is by simply looking at the picture, but that's how 300 million people around the world are suffering every month just to get the drugs into the eye. And my research is trying to provide an alternative which uses ultrasound to replace the needle to deliver the drugs into the eye. And as Professor Charles Moon mentioned, it's more of a philosophical research. In particular, my thesis is about understanding the mechanism of how ultrasound works. So I need to understand the feasibility and the safety of this new tech in replacing needle to get the drugs into the eye. I won't give a two hour lecture on my research, I can easily do that. But what I want to emphasize is that uh, during my PhD journey, I realized there's a huge need that a lot of patients has these sort of diseases and there's no other choices. Either they turn blind or they will have to endure a monthly horrible needle injections. So that's why I, I feel that passion. I, I found a company, Sonicure, aiming to commercialize the ultrasound tech that is part of my PhD research, which is co-developed by my supervisor, Professor Ying Chao in chemical engineering department, and want to bring it to the health system. So um, you may think typical research career would be um, you get an M field, then PhD, then postgrad, and hopefully a faculty position in academia, right? But I feel the training that you get in PG actually gives you a strong foothold to explore your career in various aspects. It doesn't necessarily limit yourself in your particular subject expertise, but it can help you to prepare, be it a consulting industry, be it uh, founding a technical company like I do. I feel that is the essence of a PhD or research postgraduate training. And that helps me to navigate through a lot of challenges and I'm lucky enough and honorable to get all these awards I mentioned. And more lately, uh, our company got um, awarded by Deloitte as one of the 20 fast growing tech and uh, rising star award in Hong Kong and Asia region. So this gives you a snapshot. Research is not simply about being laser focused in your subject area and spend three, four or five years just to get the thesis complete and defense it. It helps you with a lot of training. I, I believe you have heard a lot of terms called critical thinking, logical thinking from um, various speakers today. But I want to emphasize in, in my context, what does that mean? How to train your critical or logical thinking? Uh, this is a slide I can also easily give you a two hour lecture on. But in short, uh, it, you can see here is a pyramid principle and it's a very common uh, framework that consulting industry has been using uh, actually since 1993 when I skimmed through my father's notes when he's working in PwC back in the 90s. So I feel uh, the research postgraduate studies, the way that how faculty members and the school helps you to train, very much like this um, uh, logical structure. In my context, take my research for example. The situation is there's a lot of eye disease that affects millions of people around the world. And the complication is a lot of people have to do injections every month. So logically, I would want to ask a question. Would there be any possible way to replace needles so the, doc so the patients get treated without the needles? Now, my answer is using ultrasound. So I have to prove, for example, is it feasible, is it effective, and is, e is it efficient? And through these three topics, I would do various experiments. That's where the experiment and lab work kicks in. 
I have to verify whether it's feasible, whether it's safe, let's say doing preclinical animal testing, and I need to do comparison um, with injections to show I'm as efficient as injection. So you see the whole research actually falls within this uh, framework, and you see this framework is not something that only applicable in your research journey, but also helps you to prepare yourself because you literally run through this mindset every day when you venture into some unknown, some challenges in your research. And that is a very good toolkit when you um, start your career, let's say, in different industries. So that's how I feel. And actually, this career helps me to prepare myself to found a company. And more recently, I'm now um, in the process of closing my first uh, multi-million US dollar seed round financing. So you may think doing a research um, maybe sound like very specific, but it actually broadens you and provide a lot of options for your career considerations. From my case, I have a passion, I have a calling. I've been involved in that research for a long time, more than five years, so I feel my passion is to bring this technology into the health system. So I hope this, this gives you an insight, and uh, my sharing hopefully can also answer some of the questions about the career prospect. It's actually not laser focused at all, but it's very broad. It depends on how you see the issues. And for me, I feel this is one um, key area I want you to take away that this shows it actually helps you a lot for different uh, walks of life that you want to pursue after you complete your research postgraduate. Thank you.